Hello everyone, welcome back to Ayman the Repair Tech channel. My name is Ayman and today's video is about iPhone 6s has no power. The customer bring it to me here, nobody has touched it before, the board is very clean, no sign of liquid or physical damage. I wonder why this board is not turning on. So let's connect it to the power supply and check. When I connect the power supply, there is no uh, current consumption that's mean i don't have a short in uh, battery line or uh, main line so i will try to connect this uh, trace to the ground which uh, simulate the power button and i look at my power supply there is no current consumption that's mean the device cannot feel the press of the power button Let's check if we have the 1.8 for power uh, hold key and I have 1.5 uh, which is okay. So why when I connect this to the ground it's not turning on and it's not consuming any uh, current. Let's try another ground. nothing at all that's weird okay now it's turning on now it's consuming current And it looks like it's booting. Let's connect the display to see what's going on. And the phone is turning on. This is how to fix uh, iPhone 6s in 3 or 5 seconds. I will check if it will boot or it will stuck on the Apple logo maybe we have a charging issue maybe the battery drained to zero level and he is not able to charge it but he brought it to me here and he says like he cannot uh, turn it on the phone is turning on so let me check if the phone is charging or no maybe we have a charging issue okay now I will connect the charger and we'll check the battery uh, we'll check the voltage on the battery connector interesting 6.3 millivolts and the phone didn't boot switch the charger to the other side and this is the same so I guess we have an USB IC issue here the phone has no problem other than USB IC that's my guess of course it's uh, it, we should change the charging connector first but charging connector looks fine and it's very common problem that the charging uh, the USB IC, not charging IC, I'm sorry. The USB IC uh, tend to fail. It's a very common issue.
In iPhone 7, if you cut this shield and this side become like sharp, it may cut your flex cable every time you assemble the board and every time you plug your charging cable, you will find that uh, the charging cable will burn and uh, the USB IC will fail again, will not able to charge. So I prefer to do this job without cutting any edges or if I need to, I have to make sure that the edge is not sharp. Now let's put it back in the housing and check if it's charging. I have to have 3.7 volts on the battery connector. And it's charging. Now let's put the screen and put back the battery and connect the charger. And we'll see if the phone will boot and I see the battery sign it's charging we'll keep it a while till it's turned on and uh, to confirm that the fault was from the USB IC or no this is uh, like daily repair for us because uh, most of the people using uh, not uh, Apple uh, chargers so I recommend you if you are an end user or even a technician to always use uh, Apple certified charger uh, to avoid such uh, USB IC uh, failure I'll leave it charged for a minute and I'll come back to you so here we go guys uh, the phone has turned on but not with its original battery the original battery also has a problem I kept it for charging with the original battery for like 20 minutes and uh, the phone was not turning on every time I press the home button it was giving me a battery sign and where I unplugged the battery and I checked the charging uh, voltage on the battery connector it was 3.8 so the charging issue is fixed by replacing the USB IC but we have a battery problem also the battery when I measure it it has four voltages but why it's not able to turn the phone on that's a problem with the single wiring interface, the SWI line in the battery itself. It's not able to communicate with the device how much the percentage in the battery. So it's showing like zero percentage all the time. So the phone is not able to turn on even it's, char uh, if it, even it's charging sufficiently. So that need a battery replacement as well. I hope you enjoyed it, this video and if you enjoyed it please leave me a like or comment about what you want to see next and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of my coming videos. Till then my work here is done and I'll see you next one. Bye guys.